Hey, this is AJ with Touchdown Automotive. I just wanted to give you an update on your uh, on your Audi here. Um, the motor is out. In order to pull these motors, you do have to pull the front clip off the car. So the bumper, um, the radiator, the fans, etc., etc., all comes off. Um, so it's sitting here in pieces. Um, we way underbid this car. <laughs> way, way underbid this car. Um, it took us two days to pull it, and I don't think it's ever taken me two days to pull a motor in my entire career. Um, so the reason I'm taking this video here is just to kind of give you an update that we are working on it tirelessly. Um, we are trying to get this thing going for you. Um, but we've had a couple of, you know, things come up that it's important to point out. And it's just so much easier to, to send you, a, you know, an email um, with a video rather than trying to, you know, call you and explain. So um, I looked it up and the starter on this is mounted near the bottom of the engine bay down here um, underneath the motor. And as you can see, there's a large support that goes across the bottom there that blocks access to it and so the book actually recommends that you lift the motor up about three inches off the mounts in order to do the starter it books at 4.4 hours now my hourly rate is only 50 dollars an hour but i know that most audi specialists are closer to 150 in california they could very very easily be 200 dollars an hour so to do a starter in the future you're looking at you know anywhere from four to eight hundred dollars just in labor and as you've learned audi parts are not cheap you're probably looking at another 200 dollars there a simple to fail component such as the starter could easily cost you a thousand dollars to maintain this vehicle going forward therefore we have a lot of those parts that we're recommending that you do since we have the motor out we're going to have to pull the starter anyway therefore there's no additional labor for us to put a brand new one in you just got to pay the expense of the part that's an option that i'm going to give you now before we start reassembly now, you already owe us another $150 for the cost of the motor itself because we waited too long and the initial one wasn't, the one from the initial quote was no longer available. Um, when we book out a car for a quote, we use a book labor guide that actually tells us how long it's going to take to remove and replace. And then we typically add an hour for interchanging parts in between the two motors. Um, because we went use on the motor, the interchange on this, unfortunately, is going to be beyond um, anything we've ever had to do before as far as a single motor interchange. Um, here's your motor. And this is the proper way to pull an engine. Your hoses are properly disconnected and removed. Your um, plug wires are disconnected, or I'm sorry, your coil wires are disconnected. Your wiring harness is actually, you know, unplugged rather than cut. Your hoses have the, uh, the clamps removed and then the hose pulled off of where it's supposed to come from. And this is the proper way to pull a motor right here. If you look at our donor motor that we got from the junkyard, you can see how much of a mess it is if I try to zoom out here. They cut everything. Every single part. Now this is already a complicated motor being an Audi. It's even more complicated being a twin turbo. And now it's just gotten pseudo complicated because they pulled the turbos off. They pulled all the plumbing for the turbos. They've cut every bit of plumbing, every bit of hosing, every bit of wiring on the entire motor. It's gonna take us an entire day to transfer everything over, potentially more, and, and even longer if we end up having to you know, come into other parts along the way. Um, also, if you remember, the reason that this motor is no longer any good is because that timing behind that cover has broken. We're recommending that because this motor does have I think it's a, it's either 87,000 or 102,000, I forget. We have too many, as you can see, we have too many motor swaps going on right now. Um, this one, we don't know if timing's been done or not. There's no markings to indicate that it has. So we're recommending that you let us pull the covers and do the timing as well. Now that's gonna come with an additional cost, of course, but do you really wanna risk losing your motor all over again? So starter, alternator, I mean, I'm going to get together an actual quote for you for what I'm going to recommend, and you'll have to pick and choose what you can afford and what you want to do now. But all of this is going to be substantially cheaper to do with the motor out of the vehicle. Um, in, in regards to labor, um, we way underbid this if everything went smoothly at the 2500 I don't know if I just thought you weren't going to do it, or I don't know what I was thinking when I quoted that, but that was way, 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 way underbid. Um, Keep that in mind when it comes time to actually pay us. Um, 
I, I try to stick to my quotes as much as possible, but I am going to have to start charging hourly for the interchange of these two motors because this is just definitely not included in the initial cost. Um, also, you know, you said you were, I said I wasn't going to charge you anything for storage. Just keep in mind that we've been trying to be patient and keep this thing here for a long time. And now we're really trying to go above and beyond and make sure that you get yourself a good car back. We just need you to make sure to work with us on that. Um, one other thing that I wanted to point out while I have a video going for you here is your motor mount on the driver's side. The motor mount consists of two different pieces. It's got the lower half that goes into the car and the upper half that goes into the motor. And it's held together by a piece of rubber so that the motor can flex as you go down the road. And that rubber has been completely split on one of your motor mounts to where it cannot even be reinstalled. I have to get a new one. And the other one is starting to split where I don't feel comfortable using it. Um, motor mounts for an Audi are easily $200 each because they have to come from the dealer. I'm going to call them and find out exactly what a cost is, and I'll include that in the quote that I send your way. Um, I'm just trying to make this video so that you're aware now that we have an additional cost coming in, stuff that was unforeseeable from the very beginning, and moving forward, we're going to have to find a way to budget for this. Um, the the basic you know hosing and fluids and that kind of stuff was included in the initial cost, but broken motor mounts we had no way of knowing until we pulled them. Um, now that they've been pulled, we're aware that they're broken, and that could be as much as a four hundred dollar expense. So. Um, when you get this video, talk it over with your husband. Try to make a decision on where you guys are at moving forward. Um, if we're doing absolute bare minimums just to get it back on the road, I can get you a quote for that. If you want, you know, a midway recommendation on what I, you know, think needs to be done immediately, um, then I'll get you a quote for that. And if you're wanting us to really, really make sure that this is going to last you quite a while moving forward, we're going to do everything, including timing and water pump, then I can get you a quote for that. Um, the first quote that I'm going to send you is just what you're going to owe us just to get it back on the road for, for absolute basics for stuff that was unforeseeable. Um, let me know as soon as you get this. Uh, sorry for the long video. I just wanted to be thorough. We're going to go ahead and get started on interchange, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.